Today, we're exploring how LS Central, seamlessly integrated with Microsoft Business Central, transforms retail operations. In this session, we'll walk through how LS Central streamlines inventory management and replenishment, enhances customer loyalty with discounts, and provides powerful insights with Power BI. Now let's dive into the demo and see LS Central in action. This is what the application will look like when you log into the system. There's two applications that integrate seamlessly. So this is Business Central, the back end, and then you have the point of sale functionality. At a glance, you will be able to see high level information about the activities that are specific to the role that you're in. So you can change your role to like an accountant versus a sales manager, etc. And you will see high level information at the top here based on that. Uh, let me just go into my item card so I could show you what items can look like and a little bit about replenishment before I go to the retail bit. So I will want to go to my retail item card. And from here, you would be able to define your item hierarchy, which looks like your item divisions, categories and product groups. You're also able to define multiple units of measure for an item. So from the top here, if I go units of measure, I can see that I operate most frequently in bottles of milk, but I could do by the gram or by the pallet when I'm purchasing or selling. Um, and this is where I will set my base unit of measure. In terms of ordering, we have a lot of flexibility and a lot of options when doing replenishment calculation. Here I could define um, if I order by store, if I do central ordering, what is my purchase unit of measure? I could define what is my safety stock quantity? What is the lead time for getting these items? And I could also define lead time by vendors. So I will know if I'm purchasing from a specific vendor, they will usually take 30 days versus another vendor will take like about seven days. What is my reorder points, reorder quantities, my maximum and in maximum inventory, and what is my minimum order quantity and maximum order quantity, all of which uh, flows into your replenishment. So I will switch to the point of sale now. So this is what the point of sale will look like. Um, you can customize this screen, even this login screen can be changed. We could put your logo at the top here with the option to log in, log out. Um, on my login screen, so I'm just going to select a couple of views because I want to show you that your points of sale can be customized um, based on look and feel that you want, right? So if I go into the Leo POS, you'll see that this is one example of what a point of sale could look like. So this is one of the pre-built layouts that we have. If I go into another, so if I go into a supermarket view, it could look something like this. And uh, let me just choose another one. So like clientele in, maybe you have a point of sale that you just want somebody to be able to take customer orders. You could use this layout for that. So you can customize the look and feel of your point of sale. So I'm going to log in now. I'm going to stay on the point of sale layout. And first off, I want to show you a little bit about member management. So if I were to select my member, now just bear with me because I don't have a scanner installed on my machine. So imagine that you were scanning a member card. If you don't have um, a scanner, you could type in what is the member card number. So this would have added my member to the transaction. And so you'll see the member name, the club that they're in, the scheme, because you can define uh, various schemes. So they could start at silver, move up to bronze, then to gold, to platinum, and what is the amount of points balance on the account. Now I could add some transactions to this. So I want to add the Linda Line um, towel to this transaction. And I just total it out and let's just say that this member is paying with cash. All right. So if you look at my screen here, uh, it's just a little tool that we have to do a virtual receipt because I don't have a receipt printer connected. So you will see the item that was purchased, the dollar value, the breakdown for VAT, as well as the points 
that they would have earned from this transaction as well as their new points balance. Another thing, so let me just close my drill. Another thing that um, I wanted to show you all was the discount offers in terms of cross selling and up selling. So I have items. Um, let me just look for my item so if i select this item i would have configured it in such a way that it shows me related items or cross selling items when purchasing this so when i'm when somebody's purchasing this laptop it tells the cashier hey ask them if they would probably want a display or in cartridge or a backpack or a mouse or something like that so you know the opportunity to upsell i will add the mouse say okay um, and it will add both of them to the transaction. Um, there was a discount associated with the laptop, so you see 5% was, was added. I can add a customer to this transaction. Let's just say that I wanted to do a credit transaction, so I could come in, select the customer, say OK. So this customer is now tied to this transaction, and when I'm doing a total to cash out, I could actually put it to the customer account, um, which will now create a credit in the in the air for them to pay at a later date. Say OK. And the last thing that I want to show before I go into uh, a little bit about how the e-commerce will work at the point to sale side um, is your discounts and item variances. So if I select this Linda jeans, it again shows me some of the offers that it have. So if you purchase Linda jeans, you can purchase a towel or a skirt at a discounted price. So I select that. I also want to add a blouse here and this screen doesn't look very, very nice, but we could customize this to look a, a lot more readable for you, right? So here you will see a, a list of variances. So it will show you that you have uh, color yellow size 34 so all of the colors all of the sizes that you can select from I will just select one it will again show me any mix and match options that you have um, in case you know the customer wants to purchase anything else and the option that I selected had another item variant so I would have had to select that to define which color and size that I needed so that's some of how the uh, how your discounts and promotions could look like. I'm just going to total this out. I'm going to cash it out using cash, and it will generate a nice little invoice for me here. So it'll show you all of the items, um, what was your sub subtotal, any of your VAT, etc. So with E-commerce integration, once an order is placed online, or let's just say somebody calls in an order, um, it will come into the application. I'm just going to mimic one of the instances where a customer might have called in an order to say, hey, I want to place this order, um, and I will collect it tomorrow or later on today. So I'm just going to add an item. Uh, a couple items actually to the point of sale and I'm going to mark that these items as a uh, customer order sorry I'm clicking the wrong thing so I want to mark this as a customer order and now I could add a customer to this transaction or I could leave it as that so that is a walk-in customer if you have the flexibility to see I will select a customer for this transaction. Say yes. And then I go total. Here I have the option to see if I want to collect, if the customer wants to collect the inventory here at this store, or if I want them to ship it. If I had quantities at another store, it will also give me that option here. But I don't have quantities at a different store, so I am only presenting with these two. I'm going to say collect here say OK. It will ask me to verify the customer's information. I could put in a phone number 
um, update email address, anything that I need to do here, and then confirm the order. You have the option to fully pay for the items up front. Um, so if you were doing this at like from Shopify, they would have gotten the option to pay for this on Shopify, or you could pay for it when you come to collect. In this case, I want to pay up front. So I will say yes, and I will pay with cash. Okay. And the receipt that is generated here will be slightly different from the other receipts. So here you will see is marked as a customer order. This is the item. And this is the uh, prepayment amount because it's a prepayment that I basically just did. So let's just say the customer comes in later on today to collect the item now. You could go into customer orders. You will see the customer order. I had another one that I was uh, doing earlier on today. So you will locate the customer order. Then you go into pick. Uh, maybe you have to go pick the items. If you had more items in here, you could say pick all. I only have one, so I'll say pick this one. Uh, if I had more in quantity, let's just say I had 10, but I could only find six, I could have said, well, I'm only picking six and then mark a shortage for the next four, which at the point of checkout, it will prompt me to issue a, a, a refund to the customer for the four that we did not have, right? Um, so I go ahead and say confirm, put in information about this store that the customer is collecting the items from. And then it it will now be uh, order to collect. So this is just a pick in process. Now I can collect the items. The customer comes in to collect it. Uh, you review the items, make sure that it's correct. You confirm it, and then you cash out. At this point, I do not have any money to. The customer doesn't have any money to pay me. However, if I did not do the prepayment upfront, this is where they will pay the $50. So I say total. Um, I still have to cash out using a, a tender, even if it's $0, um, but that's just to close the transaction. So here you'll see the collection list would have been printed saying, okay, um, they collected this one item and this is the invoice showing uh, the use of the $50 prepayment. Um, so that is that is how you can use customer orders um, to fulfill online orders, call-in orders, as well as even orders that, you know, a, a customer walks in and say, I want to buy this, but they might want to collect at a different store or they want to collect later on in the day. We have some customers who, who sell lumber. Um, so this becomes very beneficial for them where the customer could say, I want to have X amount of uh, plywood delivered to me. So the, or oh, I will collect it tomorrow. I'll come to a van. This comes in pretty handy there. Um, everything else, like I wouldn't go too detailed into the point of sale because everything else is a point of sale system that you all would be very familiar with in terms of functionality. Um, what I do want to show you now is a little bit of the Power BI reports. So in Business Central, we now have a host of Power BI reports embedded. Um, some of those are like for, for your financials, you have a financial overview report, which will show you a return on assets, your top five customers by balance, uh, your top five uh, vendors by balance. You could also look at your income statement, um, balance sheet, and for each of these, you could extend um, to see the, the actual data, the transactions that make up these values, right? You could look at budget comparison if you're using budgets in the application. On the sales side, you have your daily sales reports. Um, your sales overview. You can look at uh, moving average sales by item, which is very beneficial to a lot of companies. 
So you can look at, for example, the category of a shares. This is the total sales and a breakdown of the actual items um, that make up that overall sale value and the quantity. Sales by customer. Purchases will be very similar. So you have purchases overview, um, purchase quantity by category, by location, your top five vendors, what are your daily purchases? There's a year over year analysis report as well. Now these are your business central reports. I also have some that is specific to LS retail. So if I look here, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty similar to your sales overview but it will pull data from your retail tables to tell you what that looks like. A daily sales overview. Um, sales by year. Yeah, and that pretty much sums up uh, the high level things that I wanted to show you. Uh, LS Retail, LS Central demo usually takes anywhere between an hour to hour and a half. So I'm sorry that I wasn't able to show you like in depth uh, view of how it works and how it all comes together nicely. But we do, like I mentioned before, we do have another session on the business central uh, aspect of the application. So I do encourage you to join in on that one so you could see how it all ties back together. Thanks for watching. We hope this demo gave you valuable insights into how LS Central can streamline your retail operations. If you're interested in exploring more or want a personalized demo, book a free consultation with us. We'd love to show you how LS Central can work for your business. At Davin, we're here to make your business better. See you soon.